Originally considered a long shot, Tea Party Republican Rand Paul won the U.S. Senate seat in Kentucky. This is a good example of the muscle of the Tea Party movement. The majority of voters in Kentucky are registered Democrats. By the way, Rand Paul is the son of former presidential candidate and current Congressman Ron Paul. So a lot to talk about as far as these elections are concerned. And joining us now is University of Missouri St. Louis political science professor David Kimball. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Glad to be here. So what stood out to you primarily with the local St. Louis area races? The uh, the closeness of that third district race between Russ Carnahan and Ed Martin, I think, was a surprise to some. That's been a, a Democratic district for many years and um, thought to be safe in Democratic hands, but it turned out to be very close. I Hearing that, that Mr. Martin has not conceded yet and is planning to challenge this, what, what do you expect to happen? The um, I, 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 He's behind by 4,000 some votes. I think it's hard for me to imagine a scenario where 4,000 votes magically disappears from Carnahan's column or appears in Martin's column in a recount or something. So I, I don't expect that result to change. We're supposed to hear from the president today around noon. He's going to talk for the first time addressing the shift we're going to see on Capitol Hill. Obviously, the Republicans taking over the control of the House. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to be the president's message today to the country? Well, I think it'll have to be something about how he's going to work with this new Congress and a Republican House of Representatives and a Senate with uh, fewer Democrats, although still a Democratic majority. And I think one of the messages from the vote last night was that voters have some concern about the size of the government, uh, the federal spending, and I think We'll see if he has some ideas about where to reduce the size of the, gov of the federal government. And here in the St. Louis area, that county executive race in St. Louis between Charlie Dooley and Bill Corrigan mm -hmm. was so hotly contested and was really close. Did that surprise right. you at all? Uh, a little bit, although the Republicans had really made a big play at that, uh, uh, at that seat this, this year. I think it shows that um, Corrigan, one of his main issues was hitting Dooley over this proposal to maybe merge the city and the county, and I think it showed that voters in the county don't like that idea. All right, Professor Kimball, thank you so much for being with us. Obviously, the election yesterday, the results still coming in today, so it might be a couple days before all of these results are finalized. Right. Want to check in with Robin Smith to see what's going on with your traffic on this Wednesday morning.